Previously on Let's Play The Sims 4 Dine Out. Let's play The Sims for Dine Out Part 11. I gave you guys a little bit of a sneak peek part uh, just because I couldn't wait to release it and I had only done that edit and I haven't, I hadn't actually done the recording of the episode. <laughs> so I released a sneak peek a while ago, of course, just then you saw a repeat of it. But yes, Mr. Wu has unfortunately died and at the time of his untimely death, uh, the kids have now been brought to live with their mum because she now has custody of them. However, as you guys may have noticed, uh, their mum's house is an absolute mess. There are a lot of uh, things around the house that are quite questionable and clearly uh, the mum does have a few secrets behind her and she has a pretty badass uh, boyfriend who she's been getting up to some mischief with. So she's not in a good place. She's not a nice woman and the kids are definitely not going to be okay here. So I'm pretty sure Ali is just going to be like, oh my God, we cannot live here to Clay. Uh, another thing is you guys have been wondering, oh gosh, I would really dislike to use the toilet here. I'd be like, oh hell no, <laughs> I ain't using your toilet because I'll probably sit on like a Sharpie or something. But anyways, um... Where was I? Where was I? So their mom hates kids. She's not interested in having kids. She left them long ago. She doesn't have a stable lifestyle. So I'm pretty sure Ali is just going to be like, look, let's just go home. Stephanie can look after us and we're going to be okay there. Because I mean, the kid's going to start playing with this and this is not something you want to play with. Uh, so what we're going to do... Uh, because I went into their family from the existing family who lives here, they're able to enter into all of the apartments now. But this is their mum, chilling in someone else's house. Uh, she's just here. Her name is Sheena Wu. And uh, she's very thin. She's wearing her slippers with her, like, office outfit. And she does have a new partner who is a bikey dude wherever he is. I'm not sure where he's gone. Here he is. So he's in someone else's apartment Aww. as well. And this guy here is Nathaniel. And Nathaniel's some creepy looking guy. He's not a nice person. He doesn't like kids. He's a badass. And I'm pretty sure that he is only going to affect this Let's Play in a negative way. So let's stay away from him. <laughs> Get the kids back to Stephanie. And uh, for those of you who have been asking, I think Ellie's just going to be like, okay, can we please leave now? <laughs> I don't want to be here. This is not our mom. She's not our mom. She is our mom, but she's not our mom. So... I reckon Clay's gonna go find her wherever she's gone down here and just say goodbye. Uh, they probably haven't seen their mom since they were little. They probably don't even remember who she is. So, uh, where are we? We can't even hug her or anything. So maybe we will just. I. You know what? I think they're just gonna leave. 
I think they're just gonna leave her here. They don't want to be here. So we're gonna we're gonna head home. We're gonna go back to the Wu Mansion, and I've also, as you guys can tell, I've already added Stephanie to their household, uh, just to save time mucking around with that. So. She's looking after them for now since uh, their father, Mr. Wu, passed away. And for those of you wondering how he passed away, uh, most of you guys understood it. Um, but he did pass away from alcohol, being an alcoholic, drinking too much, and eating badly. Um, so cardiovascular disease or a heart attack was the idea of that's how he died, from an unhealthy lifestyle, which is sad. But I also thought... I quite like uh, keeping things realistic sometimes or exploring topics that are that are real things people are dealing with. So um, we might just have a little bit of little bit of a go at Nathaniel and just be like, oh, he can't get around the house anyway. It's such a mess. Uh, but I don't think they're going to like each other. Come on, Clay. And mind you, uh, these kids do have a lot of money as well. There is quite a big fortune right now uh, in the Wu family. So, you know, the question of where their money is going to go is still... Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I don't want to answer right now. It's no caller ID. Now, who's going to get all that money is also a bit of a danger now that Mr. Wu isn't there. Alrighty, these guys are back home now. Back to the comfort of what they're more used to. And oh gosh, she's so cute little Antonia. Uh, if you guys have missed out a little bit on this LP, this is their new house before their dad passed away. It's just like a Californian home. Really nice. Stephanie, uh, their father's love interest, uh, did the interior decorating. Very plain, very beige, but at the same time, very nice. So <laughs> this is where they're chilling out. Stephanie's going to be looking after them. And I reckon we're going to be running into some very interesting things uh, now that... <laughs> Uh, their dad is no longer here and I think the first thing is that Clay's going to be rethinking about his own health. Uh, he's grown up without a lot of exercise, he hasn't been eating very well and I think Stephanie is going to help them out a little bit to make sure they don't go down the same track as their dad did. So I think the first thing she's going to do is actually get rid of this bar. Uh, I think she probably believes that that's not really a nice thing to have there. And I don't think that she's going to be sleeping in Mr. Wu's room yet. Um, it's just a little bit too close to home, I think. And um, so what I've actually done is shut all the curtains to his room here. So that's just kind of being left there for now. And we'll get maybe the girls to share the bed in this room and then Clay to sleep in Antonia's room. Just for now, just for the first few nights. Uh but in any case, everyone's just beginning to get a little bit hungry. So what I'm going to do is get Stephanie to go over here and serve a nice family dinner of something like a garden salad. Uh, let's say they get a little bit of protein, either tofu or um, meat on the side. Because I, uh, I think that we need a little bit more than just a salad. And little Antonia here, she's okay. She's probably the least affected. Uh, whereas the other two, they're going to be going through a lot of emotions. So, aw, at least they're there for each other. That's important. Uh, but let's get let's get Clay straight away to start um, changing his lifestyle. Let's get him to go down here and he, for the first time ever, is going to go for a jog. Ravuda. Like, all right. It's time for me to start living a better life, and it starts right now. Oh my gosh, what are you wearing? <laughs> Gangsta! Damn, son! Damn, look at all those chains. They're going to be weighing you down when you're running, which will probably be actually quite a good workout. Uh, Stephanie, did you make the dinner like you were meant to, or... Or what? Is this it? Resume garden salad, please, miss. Oh, she's just getting a glass of water. Uh, it's getting quite late for Antonia as well, but we might get Stephanie to ask her to do her homework. We could just go upstairs and get little Antonia to do that. Where is her homework, actually? Hmm. Might actually just have to purchase some more books, because I have no idea. There's a high school book. What are the... 
places could they be? Hmm. Oh, here we go. It was right in front of me the whole time. There you go. Do your homework. She can sit there while Stephanie watches over her. And Allie, on the other hand, she's just going to be having some water. Maybe we'll get her to do some homework as well before having some food. Although she's pretty full already. All right, Stephanie. I'm so glad they have Stephanie in their mm. life. The other thing was Mr. Wu was pretty... Oh. Um, Stress, I think, about the fact he was in love and also confused because he was in love with Stephanie, but Stephanie is transgender, so that was something he was also trying to get used to as well. And I don't know if he was alive, um, how he would have dealt with that, actually. It seemed like he really did love her, but he loved her as a woman, and I think the fact that she was, in some aspects, uh, physically... The male, um, but, it, but overall the female, the I think that would have been very difficult for him. In a play bar! <gasps> what? Ugh. She's getting annoyed at Antonia? Maybe she's disciplining Antonia, Ooh, saying, you need to do your homework, and you need to work hard, Antonia, and you need to eat some dinner. So... I can't believe Stephanie was mean to her, but maybe... Maybe she does need a little, bit a little bit of discipline, I don't know. But we'll send Antonia up to bed for now. If she doesn't want to have dinner, she can she can do that. And are we still jogging over here? All right, looking good. Uh, also, we did have a couple of ladies that we were starting to get to know. Caitlin and Suki. I was saying Yuki, but you guys said it's actually pronounced Suki, uh, who was quite cute. Whoa. Um, so we'll probably age up Clay soon and say that he's pretty close to being an adult. Oh, even oh. though I've got their their timelines on Yibs, Yibs, being quite far away, <laughs> their birthdays. But I think he should uh, age up soon. I just feel like that's right for the storyline. Good workout always boosts the spirits and he is feeling pretty grungy. So um, how about he comes in here to have something to eat and he's like, oh, I feel like a burger. Is this all we have, Stephanie? She's like... Yes. From now on, we're going to do things my way. Uh, and she's going to sleep in Antonia's bed. There we go. And Antonia is just going to say she isn't very hungry. He's like, oh, this is actually so good. At I mean, what am I talking about? Not Antonia, Ali. Clay's just going to be like, Ali, this is so good. Don't you want some? And she'll be like, no, thank you. Busy studying. Maybe you can give his sister a little compliment, though. They've had a pretty rough time. Oh my Vanessa. god, you stink, Clay. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully from this negative thing that has happened to them, some po positive things are actually going to happen. And Allie, did she get to know anyone? Ooh, Nathaniel, Sheena. Uh, oh yeah, she's making friends with Chloe and Caitlin, Sophia. So she's got a few friends that she's making, but hopefully we can meet some more friends at school once her grades go up a little bit more. She's a B student, not so bad. He's a B student too. And Antonia's an A student, so they're all doing pretty well at school now. Uh, since Stephanie's been on the same scene, she's been pretty helpful. And I think we might also hire a maid. A uh, coin sick to school, let's hire a service. And we also have nannies now in The Sims 4 since the latest update, which is really cool. Uh, let's put that in your inventory. Oh, and she's just oh. going to go straight upstairs to bed, oh. and we're going to also schedule a maid. So let's go up here. She's just going to sleep with uh, Antonia for the time being, if she can actually get in. I'm sure she's going to be able to get into that bed. Hmm. What we might do is we might just put... How are we going to do this? We will uh, move Mr. Wu's things around, but I don't want to do that right now. I just want to give them a little bit of time before that happens. Let's just get rid of the DJ booth, perhaps, and just put a temporary bed in here. Uh, there we are. So, Ellie can have somewhere to sleep. There we go. Uh, and Clay, do you... Do you I think you need to have a little bit of a shower. So let's get you to have a shower. And he's going to sleep in the pink room, which is probably a bit unnecessary. He probably could have slept on this bed. We'll do that next time. But for now, maybe Ali was like, 
I really, I really, really, really want, I really, really want to stay with Antonia. Or it's rather the other way around. All right, hot steamy oh, shower for Clay. Everybody else is sleeping. No monsters oh. under the bed. I love that Antonia gets the really big bed. That's awesome. Whereas the older siblings get the uh, single beds. But that shows how much they care about her. They'd rather her be comfortable, so that's cool. Uh, which bed did you just hop into? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Don't cry in your dad's bed. That's too much for me, Clay. Just go here. And you know what? Maybe he'll just be like, nobody is going to go in my dad's room. So he's going to lock the door to everyone. All right. So speeding through this, uh, we might get Allie up. And she's going to use the toilet. In you go, hon. There we are, looking good. And then Antonia Wu, we might get you to uh, wake up, go downstairs to the bathroom. So you're in a really good mood for today. I want to get your grades up. And Stephanie, on the other hand, uh, we might get her to go ahead and make everyone some breakfast. She is definitely the kind of woman who would know what to do in a crisis if someone's passed away she'd be the one cooking food and giving it to the family who's suffering so that is definitely what she's going to do for these kids and she's going to make them some healthy scrambled eggs um there we are and ellie's gonna have a little bit of the garden salad uh she's not looking very happy at all not happy at all uh clay's still asleep He's all right. His social's down. So he really, since his dad died, I think he really needs to spend some, some time with friends. I think that would be good for him. Boy. Uh, and Stephanie, I don't understand why we ask her to do things and then she just seems to refuse to. I don't know. And we're going to say that Ali has had enough. Uh -huh. uh, she's had enough food right now. And... We'll just get her to freshen up for school, perhaps. And Stephanie is cooking away. Uh, Clay, what are you going to do to your sister? Oh, I'm going to give her a hug. That's so adorable. They're very Rips. close siblings, these guys. Uh, and we're also going to need to spend some time at the restaurant, too. We want to make sure the restaurant's working really well. And they've got mm -hmm. school. Oh no, they've got a little while before school, which is good. Let's get Clay to maybe give a friend a call. Maybe he could give Suki a call. I know she might be asleep though. Hopefully she doesn't get too angry. No, 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 honey. Okay, she was sleeping. Whoopsies. Well, hello. We've just been through a lot. Can you just not get a little bit of beauty sleep for one second? Let's put it this way. And let's put that away. And we'll grab some of this delicious food. And Clay can grab that too. Awesome. So school's going to start in an hour well, but uh, in an hour as well. But they should be all right. Allie, what you doing, girl? Maybe she can start going through that awkward, uh, that awkward teen stage where you just... I know, you pay a lot of attention to how you look. I went through that stage. Just beginning to think a little bit more about her appearance. All right, so how is everyone? Stephanie's going to make sure that everyone has a good day at school. Do a heartfelt compliment. She was a bit snappy last night. Discuss world peace because she is a classy lady. She knows what's what's rad in the world. Hina, and yeah, they should be in Bazim. awesome moods today, uh, which is good. And who hasn't done their Gosh homework is Clay. So. Oh my god, voodoo doll. Alright, Ali, let's get you to uh put on a different Oh wow! I didn't realize the change outfit option showed all of your outfits that's really cool just didn't realize that is that new with the update I swear it is anyways let's wear something a little bit different today Alrighty. and for those of you guys 
wondering. Ali is not a girly girl. She never has been. So she just wears what she's comfortable in and that's how she rolls. All right, let's go to school. Antonia's off to school in her little onesie. Such a cutie pie. And uh, <laughs> let's go to high school now. Jet Wu! Oh my gosh! Jet, what? Mr. Wu just texted us. I can't get you out of our mind. Creepy AF. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we actually call him? No, I don't even know where his gravestone is actually. We need to go back to our venue to go get it, I think. We need to go collect it. So what we might do is, we need, that is necessary actually. Uh, so let's get Ali to make friends and actually let's get them all to socialize a little bit. Um, although we might get little Antonia to study quite hard, but let's get you to go to, was it? The Magnolia one? Where Mr. Wu passed away? Oh gosh, no, it's the newer one. I think. I've lost track of which ones we've, we've renovated. It does also mean that Stephanie has full, oh no, it definitely wasn't this one, has full control over the different uh, diners too, so she can really change the diners as well as the kids. I mean, maybe their dad left them one diner each in his will. Maybe that's what happened and Stephanie is going to help them run them. Okay, here it is. That's what we've been looking for. There's Mr. Wu. Oh dear, we should probably hold a proper funeral, hey? Uh, but we might open this up for now. Open for business and Stephanie can Let's just see, can we change one of your outfits? Cause I really want to make sure that you look fabulous. Change outfit. Oh, I love it. How we can see them. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this. I haven't actually seen all of her outfits. Oh, her outfits are so nice. Let's put her in a summery dress for a change. So pretty, so pretty. All right, so, I mean, it's a bit awkward reopening this for the first time since everything happened, but you know what? Everything needs to go back to normal. You keep going when the going gets tough, you know? When you fall off the horse, you hop back onto that horse, and uh, yeah. Let's just get some standard training for Rocky, then we can make the, uh, then we can make the meals are better quality. Uh -huh. uh, we'll also get some more training for Lauren too, bit by bit. Uh, she's keen to make this restaurant be the best restaurant ever. We might also manage Jessica, praise her a little bit. And uh, over here, Michaela, let's manage her and praise her as well. Nice. All right. Oh gosh, there's the clown here back again. The latest fashion craze or the trend is you know it's not even the latest trend this has been happening for a long time <laughs> okay welcome 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 hello mortimer how are you today okay let's make sure everybody's happy uh so good to hear the extra effort i've been putting in has been paying off and oh actually a few of you guys were asking or uh, letting me know that this wasn't actually on the gallery, which I thought it was. So what I'm going to do is actually go to build mode. Let's save this. I'm sure it's on the gallery already. Maybe it's not. I'll just pop it up there in case you guys don't have it. From my dine out LP. That should not be a capital. Here is the Harvest Kitchen we renovated. Yay! All right, there we go. So you guys can download that. It's under the user Delicracy. Perfecto. Uh, awesome, so that's up there now. Cool beans, cool beans. Right. Ooh, we're almost at four stars again, that's good. It's good, we're just gonna keep managing. I feel like Steph is going to make an even more successful uh, series of businesses, so we'll have to 
give the next one a bit of a makeover. Which I'm excited for. Oh wow, we have so many people to meet and greet. Where are our hostess and waitresses? Oh my god, where are our waitresses? Why are they not at work? Wait, are our waitresses here? That's this is a host. Oh, our waitresses are in here. Plum Panda. Well, this is just awkward. <laughs> so, maybe if we just get out of the way, then the waitresses can do their job. Maybe that's what's happening. Uh, management. Can we check up on you? Ooh, you want to go into some rocket, rocket ship woohooing? Okay, I think we've pretty much done everything we can. Oh no, we can welcome these guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Harvest Kitchen. I love this place. It looks a million times better than the Dukamonald's drive through I would much, much rather eat here just quietly much nicer. I think it was a, it was a good renovation. So we'll have to renovate or knock down and rebuild the others. Uh, I think that is necessary. All right, Stephanie. She's in such a good mood. I wasn't even cheated, so I'm feeling good right now. Uh, what else can we do here to improve the restaurant? Let's just check on how everything's going. Uh, gold package, 240 a day. All right. And let's just check that our waiters are happy or our wait staff. Neutral, neutral. Okay. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we're praising them a little bit. So we should probably pray that a bit more. But I'm going to leave this part right here. Um, so do let me know in the comments down below what you want to happen next and what you think of what's just happened. And I'm very excited to record more dine outs. So anyways, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon.